Hello, so this is 11728 Mountain View Court here in Rancho Cucamonga. So I want to give you a quick walkthrough of this home. So we have kind of like a cover entryway here. Is this a swing? Probably don't recommend using it unless you really want to. Oops, sorry. Let's trip again. So there we go. This. So you have a little entry area, and then the downstairs you have your dining area and the living room area. And it's under a uh, vaulty ceiling here. And over here, so this is the entryway, All right? And then you have your kitchen over here. It's new tile floor, new quartz counters, actually newer dishwasher too. And then you have kind of like a semi walking pantry here, right? And then the breakfast nook so there's one patio door the second patio door is out you know right outside of the dining area this is your living room here okay the living room here and then you have downstairs your laundry room, that's the garage. I'll show that later. And then you have one bedroom downstairs with a patio door to the side. I taped the door just because I don't want people to go out from here. Um, I have people coming in to see the house today. So I don't want people to go out from there just because that makes them really hard to track. So there's nothing wrong with the door. I just tape it so I can track people that's coming in and out. One full bath downstairs, tub and shower combo. Same thing with the toilet too. We tape the toilet right now because we don't want people to use it. Um, and you know, so it's not broken or anything. And then you have a two car side by side garage. The walls are not finished in here, which is kind of common, you know, for the construction, the age of the construction, they don't, finish the the garage wall so there's actually no insulation in here so it's a little warm but uh, it's a good size garage it's a good size garage and then there's also kind of like a wash sink over here and then you have a door that goes to the outside to the yard actually yeah it is interesting a lot of homes built in they built before sometimes even before 2000 the garage walls are not finished here. So there's no insulation actually. So it makes the garage warmer. But in the newer homes usually have insulation in the garage walls too. So, so this you can overlook pretty much your whole living space from the staircase. And as you go upstairs, that's the master bedroom. And these are the two secondary bedrooms. So we'll go to the master first, which is this way. So you have the master bedroom, good size bedroom. I'll take the measurements later. With two windows. And then you have a big reaching closet. So the closet have two sections. So this part is for the long hanging and those are for more hanging space over there. Go this way. We have two separate vanity and sinks and that's me in the mirror. Big mirrors. This is the water closet. And then you also have a, sh a walking shower here. So we have a walk-in shower here. 
So there's no tub in the master, but you have a walk-in shower here. Okay. And you have a linen closet here too. So. And when you come out this way, I try not to walk too fast because you might get dizzy. This is a hallway bath, tub and shower combo. The bathroom is actually pretty good size. So this is the bedroom that's facing the back. So this is the bedroom that's facing the back. Again, I'll get the measurements later. And you have a window overlook the backyard. And then you have, this one has a reaching closet here. And then the other one has a walk-in closet. So this is the, the bedroom that's facing the front of the house. Okay, so this is facing the front of the house. And this one you have a small walk-in closet. It's actually not small, it's actually pretty good size. Yeah. So... That's about it for the inside of the home. And let me take you downstairs. So this home is about 1700 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, one bedroom, one bath downstairs. There's a lot of trees and things in the back. So, this is on the side. And then there's a hill in the back. A lot of trees, lots of grass. And then when you go this way, that's the downstairs bedroom there. And then you have more space over here on this side that for your trash cans and things. So I'm going to circle back into the inside of the house again. So can take a last look. It's very cute. Very cute and a very functional floor plan too. A very functional floor plan. Here, so I'll give you. So this is the downstairs. And then let me show you. This is the kitchen area, kitchen and dining. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.